Most animals like to be cryptic, hiding from potential predators by blending in. If they don't, they would be eaten and their lineage would die out. Some species, though, are toxic, and they like to flaunt this fact to every potential predator. If that predator is visual, that often means it is a technocolored organism that looks way too colorful for its otherwise drab background. This visual signal is called being aposematic, and simply tells potential predators to not even try to mess with the organism. In the leaf litter of Costa Rica, one such organism lazily hops about, the green and black poison dart frog. Poison dart frogs are like the easter eggs of the neotropical rainforest. Bright spots of color in the dense browns and greens of vegetation in various states of decay. There are close to 200 species found from Nicaragua to the southern edge of the Amazon rainforest in Bolivia. There are quite a few relatively non-toxic species that use crypsis to avoid detection, but they are much less famous than the toxic species dressed in aposematic yellows, blues, and reds. They are called poison dart frogs because four species in the genus Phyllobates, which are some of the largest and most toxic in the family, are used on occasion to tip hunting blow darts, something the majority of these frogs are never used for, due to not being quite as toxic. Whether deadly or just plain unpalatable, they are not born with these toxins, nor are they toxic when they first metamorphose out of the tadpole phase. The poisons are derived from their diet, and captive dart frogs are completely non-toxic. In the wild, these frogs eat mostly termites, ants, and mites, some species exclusively eating these microinvertebrates. They appear to sequester alkaloids from these invertebrates and incorporate them into their own defensive toxins. These captive frogs are fed flightless fruit flies and so don't get the compounds necessary to produce significant toxins. In frogs of the genus Dendrobates, like the green and black poison dart frog of Costa Rica, or these dying dart frogs, the skin is laced with alkaloids in the pamilotoxin family, named for its presence in these amphibians, though it is derived from arthropods the frogs eat. One such alkaloid is pamilotoxin 251D. This toxin inhibits deactivation of voltage-gated potassium channels in nerve cells, which causes an imbalance in ion concentration. This in turn interferes with the contraction of muscles in the skeleton, causing convulsions, and more dangerously in the heart, where it can cause cardiac arrest. This, though, is a much weaker toxin than some other dart frogs use. The golden poison frog, which has the much less friendly-sounding scientific name Phylobates terribilis, is one of the most toxic frogs in the world, and a single individual has enough poison to kill 10 to 20 people. In its cocktail of skin poisons is batrachotoxin, a rare natural alkaloid poison. It irreversibly binds to sodium channels in nerve cells, rendering the polar membranes nonpolar. Nerve cells require polar membranes to send signals. Without it, the nerve cells cannot transmit information, resulting in paralysis. Like pumilotoxin 251D, it also affects heart muscles and can cause cardiac arrest. But unlike the less toxic pumilotoxin 251D, there is no known antidote. The powerful alkaloid toxins of these poison dart frogs show that when a species is highly colorful, it is warning visual predators not to touch, and the act of ignoring this signal can mean death. Dart frogs are just such neat little amphibians, and I am really happy to have made this video, as how such toxins work are never really discussed in biochemistry and cell biology classes at university, despite being so cool. On this channel, I strive to create quality miniature documentaries and educational videos on biology and conservation, and hope to inspire outdoor exploration and conservation action. Thank you for checking this video out, and until next time, bye.